UFC on Fox 9 preview. Setting the stage. We're here at Ultimate Fitness in Sacramento, California, home of the world famous Team Alpha Male. No better place to be when you're previewing this weekend's card where we've got four members of this team in high profile bouts at UFC on Fox 9 at Sleep Train Arena. Biggest lock on the card. 11 total bouts on the card. Let's look at it close. Our lock of the week. I've got to go with Chad Mendes. Chad Mendes facing Nick Lentz. No disrespect to Nick Lentz. Lentz is a very tough competitor. 3-0 at 145 pounds, including two wins against Brazilians in Brazil. So he knows about hostile territory. Chad Mendes, though, I think is a cut above in every area. 4-0 with four knockout wins since losing his title shot in January 2012 to Jose Aldo. He wants another shot at the belt, and I think with a win here, he gets it. Under the radar fight to watch. How about Danny Castillo versus Edson Barbosa? We know all about Edson Barbosa, Muay Thai wrecking machine. 6-1 and one in the UFC will absolutely destroy you with his leg kicks. But what about Danny Castillo, kind of the forgotten member of Team Alpha Male sometimes, the George Harrison, if you will, of Team Alpha Male. He's 5-1 in his last six fights. The one loss was a fight that he was actually winning until he got clipped by Michael Johnson. I think this is an important fight for both fighters, and one that's not getting the attention it deserves. Fight of the night. I think looking ahead, that's got to be Scott Jorgensen versus Zach McCoskey, a flyweight fight that has fireworks written all over it. Scott Jorgensen, a former two-time fight of the night winner, he knows all about bringing it 100% when he steps in the cage. His first time at flyweight, now against Zach McCoskey, former Bellator bantamweight champion, won the RFA flyweight title just three weeks ago, went five rounds to do it, so he's in incredible shape. I think this is going to be a fun fight. I can't pick a winner, but I think they're going to be cashing a fight of the night bonus. Who wins and why? But what you really want to know, who's going to win the important matchup? First up, Uriah Faber versus Michael McDonald. What an incredible fight at 135 pounds. It's a little bit of veteran versus youth, a little bit of wrestler versus striker. I like Uriah Faber in this matchup. Michael McDonald is going to bring it, but Uriah Faber loves those type of matchups. I think he's a little bit more well-rounded, a little bit better wrestling skills, and I think that's going to provide the difference here. You look at Uriah Faber throughout his career, undefeated in non-title fights. That is an incredible mark. I think he gets it done here against Michael McDonald and maybe sniffing another title shot in 2014. And of course, our featured matchup, the flyweight title fight between the champ, Demetrius Johnson, the challenger, Joseph Benavides. We know what Mighty Mouse brings to the table. The champ is quick. It's all about speed. He's well-rounded. He can wrestle. He mixes it all up. He's a fantastic fighter. But Joseph Benavides brings one more thing to the table, and that is true knockout power. I think this is going to be an incredible night for Team Alpha Male. I think Joseph Benavides is going to get the job done, bring the first USC belt to this camp. He's familiar with Demetrius Johnson. The first time they fought in September 2012, it was a split decision loss. MMA Junkie actually scored that for Joseph Benavides. I think he gets it done again on Saturday night, and we have a new UFC flyweight champion.